lot of the heart health is similar to the vascular health as well too. Keeping your cholesterol down, don't smoke. If you're a smoker, it does cause blockage of arteries in your legs and your neck. It's absolutely never too late to stop smoking. We did our own study at the Vascular Center at UC Davis where we looked at patients with advanced peripheral artery disease and who underwent treatment for their artery disease. And those patients who were able to quit smoking after we treated them did significantly better over time than patients that continued to smoke. If you're diabetic, you're at higher risk for vascular disease, so you need to control your blood sugar, and you need to know your family history for aneurysm and strokes. But a lot of it is exercise. That's the key to success for many people with their aging. Keep moving. The first thing I tell people is have a healthy lifestyle of walking. You don't need to be an athlete. You don't need to swim for an hour a day or bike for three hours a day. Just walking 30 minutes every day. You take your dog for a walk, you walk with your children, your husband, your partner, and you move around your neighborhood. Not only does it get you outside and expose you to the sun, but it moves the blood through your vessels and it helps keep you healthy paying attention to those things you can do. I think that's the biggest thing, and to realize that if you do decide to smoke or if you're not gonna exercise, that there will be consequences.